Hey, Mon. Today we're going to Jamaica. And joining, forgive my accent, but joining us this morning, we have Philip Rose with the Jamaican Tourist Board and also Pam Stamps, who is with the uh, Ocho Rios Jamaican and Caribbean Grill. Welcome to Insights, both of you. Thank, Thank you for having us. I'm Appreciate a real you. Jamaica fan, so I'm glad you guys are here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Philip, you're here, though, to tell us about the Jamaican Independence Day, which is coming up, right? Oh, yes. Um, on August 6th, Jamaica will celebrate uh, our 46th birthday. Mm -hmm. And You're young. <laughs> we are. We are a young nation. We're a vibrant nation. And uh, we invite everybody to come on down and celebrate with us. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a birthday party, but you're all invited. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, everybody's really concerned about their pennies these days with the gas like it is in the airline uh, tickets and everything. Is it still a reasonable vacation to go to Jamaica? Well, what you have to remember is that um, Jamaica offers extremely good value for money. And um, we are definitely the most diverse destination in the entire Caribbean. So I can pretty much guarantee that whatever it is that you're looking for, you'll be able to find it in Jamaica. So don't think of it necessarily as expenditure. Think of it as an, an investment in your life. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is most of your resorts are all-inclusive, aren't they? A lot of a our lot resorts of are, are all-inclusive where you, know, you pay once and quite frankly, you never have to go in your pocket again while you're there. Great. And of course, if you just cannot get to Jamaica that soon for Independence Day, Pam is here and you've got a great restaurant. You're going to show us some dishes That's correct. that and we uh, could experience there, but we have them right here. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be doing the shrimp rundown. Rundown is a very, very popular cuisine in Jamaica. Uh -huh. We normally use um, seafood. And so today we're going to be doing okay. the shrimp. Already we have the coconut milk going and mm -hmm. then we're going to add okay. our garlic. Garlic chopped onions and green onions okay oh that smells good already oh yes <laughs> in here we have salt and pepper mm -hmm. and here we have thyme leaves pimento seed and some and some crushed allspice which okay. is the same pimento seed a lot of Jamaican dishes have allspice right yes mm -hmm. yeah allspice is very very popular I'm gonna just stir this okay. a little bit okay I'm gonna just add a little add a little water water that okay. and you can already smell that mm -hmm. coconut yes that smells great mm -hmm. okay good so we're just gonna bring this to a boil and actually what we do is bring this coconut milk to a reduction so mm -hmm. it's gonna get to the point where the milk starts to curdle then you get that sweet taste right. out okay. of the coconut so we let that go okay. a little bit and then we're almost ready to add our shrimp shrimp is good yeah <laughs> That and you delicious. can leave them tail on or off if you want. Mm -hmm. And I usually prefer to use a raw shrimp than cooked shrimp. This is but a pretty simple dish. We could even make this simple. at home. Yes. Yeah, Correct. Great. And so well, now what is it about those. Jamaican food that people like so much? You know, I think it's the spices that we use. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we're big on a lot of spices and seasoning. Lots of people think that Caribbean food is all spicy, but that's not correct. Today, I actually have two um, peppers right there. Mm -hmm. You know, normally what we would do is put those scotch bonnet peppers scotch in bonnet. there. Uh -huh. and, a, and a good trick about it, and you can do, do this with any pepper. The key to it is not to burst it. So mm -hmm. the, there, I'm going to add one of these peppers ah, to it. You drop and it so in I'm whole. just Drop okay. it in whole, mm -hmm. and it's just going to stay there and just get the flavor without getting that very, very hot, mm -hmm. you know, sting to it. And that's coming up to a boil right there. So... I turn this up there, some there, more. There are several Jamaican uh, food stores around town now too, specialty mm -hmm. shops where you can buy some special spices and things. If That's you like. right. In fact, almost everything that we have here on display today mm -hmm. on this table can be had here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay, Philip, while she's finishing that, what happens during the week that you celebrate your Independence Day? It's a week long of festivities, um, parties, concerts. Mm -hmm. the church services it's one big celebration and the entire island of jamaica participates and um what happens most times is that visitors to the country also come and participate with us okay. it really gives them an opportunity to bond a little bit with, with jamaicans learn a little bit more about our culture get out of the resorts and mm -hmm. and really dig deep and enjoy jamaica Oh, that should be fun. I tell you, let's do it. Uh, okay, you want to, can we see your finished dish? I know that's still Oh, cooking. yeah, sure. While that's okay. finishing up there, what we'd normally do at the okay. end of it, we would put some bell peppers, colored bell peppers, peppers. Mm -hmm. and that's, you know, also to finish up the taste and really just for garnish. So it looks great. has a great look. Mm -hmm. And this is our finished product right oh, here. Oh, that's beautiful. And Absolutely now this, beautiful. you... Oh, great. that's really pretty. Yes. Actually. Very pretty. And this... Uh, we can serve over pasta mm -hmm. or rice or, you know, whatever your favorite dish to serve okay. this over. And Philip, you brought something that you really like today. Can you pass it over here, please? Oh, yes. Philip, Philip's wife, Natalie. That's right. Baked for us. 
a rum cake, yeah, which is also very Jamaican. This we have to show you this. This is a fantastic rum cake, and we have to this taste it. This is a homemade it. rum cake, everybody. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, Philip, if people want more information about Jamaica, how do they find out? We have a fantastic website. It's called visitjamaica.com. Mm -hmm. Or they're welcome to call the Jamaica Tourist Board to get information at 1-800-233-4582 uh, and ask them about all the various specials that we have running right now. Um, it's easy to get to from here in Dallas. They have direct non-stop flights right out to Dallas-Fort Worth. You can be in Jamaica in three and a half hours. Uh, You're on the beach you in, in the four morning, and a half. Be on the beach by the all right, that looked really good, didn't it? We're out of time this week. I'm Audi. Go with God. He'll go with you.